guys welcome back to my channel i feel like this vlog i'm trying to go i'm gonna try vlog today but um it's gonna be messy because there's people here and i just i want to make content that's good but you know i'm still working at the end of the day i've just signed in i'm in my canteen you can see all the engineering drawings behind me i'm gonna explain a little bit of what we're doing Hey guys welcome back to my channel it's nice having you here we're in the office or the site cabin and I am currently it's currently eight something I just thought it would be a great time to like great time great day to show you what I do the site office PPE the different things that happen on the construction site my role my current role is a quantity surveyor but remember I'm a graduate civil engineer but yeah no it could be fun like honestly vlogging hardest thing ever Hardest thing ever because if you see where I put you on top of a cardboard box, you'd be like, what's she doing? But yes, so I've signed in, but yeah, now it's email time, so. Okay, so I'm in my in the site office and basically I just want to show you what we how it works here. So I'm here, I'm the quantity surveyor on the project. And there's a senior QS, but she normally stays, she normally works from the main office, like our HQ or whatever. Then we have the client, the client works collaboratively with us. We have the project manager, she sits here. And obviously the project manager runs the daily activities of projects, the, um, some of the commercial aspect, just the project management. We have the contracts manager, who normally has various projects across the framework so like he has this project and another project and he works closely with us just to make sure that the I don't know just to make sure things are working efficiently like yeah and then we have the site engineer who sits um, and the site engineer does all like setting out the CAD drawings the drones the 3d stuff it's so interesting what he does um, yeah no so he does all of that like the setting out the sub you know the surveying the total station and all of that um, and then you have um, we sometimes have an assistant PM, but he's split across two projects. But yeah, this is a site office. We sit here, we work, we have a PPE because we normally go on site. But yeah, so I'm not gonna go on site now. I'm gonna sit down, I have some stuff to do, and I'll let you know my to-do list. Okay, so I thought I'd take this bit to explain a bit about quantity survey, which is what I'm doing right now for my commercial placement and what I've learned this is my own experience but it's all about the, it's like since I'm in the commercial team it's all about con like the contracts subcontractors um, engineering law application cost management forecasting material procurement and all of that so I this note was so tatted but like I don't know if you can see I have all my notes here so I plan my day-to-day -day activities but yeah, so today, this week is um, subcontractors application. So the subcontractors, so we're principal contract, blah, blah, blah. we're principal contractors. The subcontractors are like specialist contractors that we need to like. So you put the period in, which is period seven, and so you have all these important stuff that you need to tell the subcontractor. So price list. This is what they're priced on their activity schedule. This is what they're asking for. Um, and this, yeah, so the activity schedule, the compensation of events is stuff that's outside their scope that we've instructed them to do or they've done and so they're bidding us for it. As you can see, this one's zero. So say, for example, they're applying for almost 20 grand. So as you can see, the price list and the net due amount, which is the um, amount that we've certified and we're going to pay them in the payment date, is the same. So we've obviously certified the full amount, we've agreed with their assessment and yeah, so you put then your name, the date, you send this over to the divisional manager. Okay, so I'm basically. back. Um, it's currently 10, I had breakfast, I had churros and um, with soy milk, we have it in the fridge. Anyways, I've done some of my to-do list, but I wanna go on site just to see what they're doing, see the works, like we're working on a bridge deck, so like things happen so quickly. So I got my staff, helmet, 
and glasses and of course boots because i'm a qs commercial um because i'm a quantity i don't actually have to go inside that often but i like to work closely with the operations team because it's easier because like the compensations you're pricing for or all these like activity schedules you can already know if it's happened or not because you're out here on site so i like to be here and see so yeah i'm, I'm gonna get changed i like to wear my pp on top of my um clothes because it's just easier plus it's so freaking cold that yeah nah you definitely have to have to be double layers Very. How do I look? How do I look? Can you see? I can't even get the lid off. Put the pin in there. You just, was it a two prong when you should do this? Okay, so I'm in the canteen. I'm having my lunch because it's like 12 p.m. and I'm hungry. I have pasta, it's in the microwave, but I really love about this canteen. I feel like eating in the canteen and working office just to separate break and work time. But yeah, um, and then what's the agenda for the rest of the afternoon is that we have the Taylor Woodrow Live, which is like an event where the management, senior management talk about this year's business plan, no, next year's business plan, what we've accomplished this year and what we aim for next year. And then I have a networking event, which I'll bring you along. I'm, I'm walking to Oxford Circus. Well, not walking, I'm walking to the train station. But yeah. This year, this um, financial year, we talk about our profits, we talk about environment, we talk about health and safety. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, it's been going on for like two and a half hours. We're tired, and then I have an event straight after, so it's going to be a rush. A rush. Hi, I'm Che, I'm super engineer as well. You yeah, know. she's from Lang, guys. She's always a contract yeah. like, ah, uh, like me. Um, but yeah, no, we're an Arab. If you don't know who Arab is, get to know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're like the design consultancy company. They're massive and they're here. We're here for Black History Month and there's going to have incredible speakers. It's going to be really fun. And yeah, this building is so beautiful, guys. If I can like show you, like, just wait for after this, but I'm going to cut. divisiveness and that brings in a lack of sort of community and cohesion and I think that's very important because this sort of othering is not it's not normal like at all like if we look at the origins of race and the origins of the oppressions of women like race or racialization was invented during the slave trade in order to justify the inhumanity of the process and that was done in order to justify the um, in order for for the economic gains of those countries Pressure, no pressure. Hi guys, it's at the end of the event. Okay, do you want to introduce yourself? Am I recording? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm Rachel Taylor. I'm an associate director for Arab Chartered Fire Safety Engineer. And what am I going to say? Just sort of connect with all of your kind of fellow black engineers. Find them. They are out there. Join the AFPE. Um, that's a great network yeah. for you and just continue to work hard um, never be sort of disillusioned or disheartened by anything you go through keep going um, I, I feel I've done that so far and I want to keep going and actually we need engineers to make a difference in the UK also for a reveal whether that's back to our roots in Africa and beyond so keep trying everyone oh that's amazing she's so amazing as well thank you very much okay Okay, so guys, we just finished the event. So how do you think? How did it go? It went good. It did go good. It went good. It, yeah. went. it, it was so good. It was like, 
it was like all these people just had like unique experiences of yeah. being a black person and like not even like the engineering for just being black in corporate work in life and it was just so interesting I and mean, we spoke to an engineer who also went, was on site and she also works in Arab and her experience was very similar to ours. Yeah, you know like when you just needed to that hear someone else. Validation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Our feelings were validated. She's been in this engineering <laughs> game for 16 years. Do you hear that? 16? That's no in, in small In Big feet. Boy Arab. <laughs> she was here agreeing with us. Little no, like, exactly. What we're experiencing is real and valid. Yeah, we're feeling very, very inspired today. So, awesome. yeah, and I feel like I'm going to end this vlog. It's been really good. It's been such a long day, man. Long day. <laughs> and yeah, okay. Speak to you later.